Hey everyone, this is Walter Maddox at Bare Metal Speed Shop in San Antonio, Texas. This is video number two of a series of 24 demonstrating the capability of the Mech Hammer Mark II. In the video before this, I explained that everything I do in these videos, all the work done, are actual projects that we have in the shop here. This is our day-to-day -day workload. This is what I use this machine for every day. I've had the machine for about a year. I've hammered down on it, put it through the ringer. It's been very resilient and performed extraordinarily. Uh, today, I'm gonna work with stamping sheet metal. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to do with this machine. I will make what's similar to a hammer form out of plate steel, and we use the reverse curve dies and the mini dies to stamp that shape into the sheet metal. Uh, this can be used for many different applications. I've used it for firewalls, for corrugations and floor pans, all kinds of stuff. Uh, today I'm making a piece that will be a pass-through for a roll cage on a 69 Camaro firewall. Okay, as you can see here, I've made my form. This is the shape that I'm stamping. Uh, I've taken a center punch punch my holes through onto this piece of sheet metal. I'm gonna lay this over the top. Just like that. Got a couple of bolts that I've already cut down just so that they don't stick out any further than the bottom of the actual stamp. Simple as that. Now that it's fastened, We'll go ahead and throw it in the machine with a reverse curve die and start stamping. Okay, so I have the piece fastened ready to go. I'll be using an R4 reverse curve die. A little tip, depending on the thickness of the form that you make, you may have to use another plate underneath your piece uh, just to fill the gap so that the machine hits properly. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier anyway than adjusting the machine. So I have mine set up. A couple of pieces in addition if I need to clamp onto these, put them right in between, take up that extra space. There it is, simple as that. There you have it, stamping sheet metal with the mech hammer. Um, anyone can see how valuable this could be in a shop or a hobbyist environment. The possibilities are really endless. Um, again, the fluctuation in power and speed through the clutch pedal makes a huge difference. Um, I don't see really being able to do this with a traditional vanishing hammer. That's just one of the features that this machine has that a lot of others don't. 
Uh, please continue to watch uh, more videos to come. Check me out on Facebook, Walter Maddox, or Instagram at Walt Maddox Metal Fab. Or you can look up the Mech Hammer Mark II or Ben Van Burlow's Ben's Metal Shaping Shop. Thank you.